Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 11 of Spyro, Year of the Dragon, part of the Reignited Trilogy. So, like I said in the last episode, we gotta go do Honey Speedway. So, let's go here. This is a pretty fun level, not gonna lie. I like this one. It's probably my favorite Speedway in all of Spyro. I always do the races first, just because like, I find the races the most boring part, despite not actually being that boring. And I'm pretty sure these bees are actually, yeah, different colors. For some reason, they didn't make the butterflies different colors in this game, despite them naturally being different colors in the original. Now, the last race, on the other hand, even in the original, never actually had different colored enemies. They were all the same color, they are just blue-footed boobies. I know, funny, 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 but boobies are a type of bird. And actually have a big group of different birds, including ones that don't even have it in their name, so... You know what, you gotta get out of my way. I wanted it for the guy ahead of me here, but... That guy was gonna get the speed boost and just kinda, like, stick with us. We're already third place, and then there's first place right there. It's a blue bee. That purple bee, though. Oh boy, is that a pretty looking purple that they chose for that bee. Like, hot diggity darn, man, that is one sexy bee. And, sorry, Mr. Bee, but you're gonna have a rocket up the butt. I guess it's a firework, right? Ow, they sound so sad. Ow. Now, we're already on lap, or only on lap two, and we're already second place. Like, I really feel like the Monarch Butterfly race is actually harder, just, just because you actually have less resources to work with than these ones. Because, like, for example, like, look how easy it is to get, like, all the resources. The enemies don't get, like, these things, for example. And just like that, we're first place. Despite never actually crossing paths with last place, unlike a lot of the other races. Plus, the, uh, Hunter minigame here is kind of interesting, too. Oh, there's last place. Despite not even being on the same part of the course as us. Man, he's like super far behind, yet not really that bad. We're already on lap 3. This is going pretty well, and we'll probably do Frozen Altars in this uh, episode. Don't know if we'll have any time to do any other level, because the Bentley challenge might be difficult for like the skill point. Honestly, after that skill point, like we did the two most, we did one of the most, two most difficult ch uh, skill points already in the uh, Lost Fleet level. And then the next hardest one is technically in Frozen Altars, and then that's it. Those are the two hardest ones in the entire game. The rest of them are actually fairly simple. Anyways, let's uh, continue onward through all of this race, and the ending of it should be coming up pretty soon. Actually, there's more to this race than I thought. When you're on the last lap and not actually racing anybody, it, it feels way longer than it really is. Like, when you're actually doing the race, it doesn't feel long, but when you're first, it always feels like the race is gonna take a million years. Fire the rocket! And we win! Nice. So, that's another egg. And who do we got? We got Henry. Another Henry, this time with an I instead of a Y. And now we gotta do the time attack. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. Also, they didn't do the. First of all, in the in the original game, they they weren't holographic honey or like honeycombs. They were just like legitimate honeycombs, and they would break. The fact that they gave like most of these things the same sound effect is what annoys me. Like this has the exact same sound effect as the rings. And look, there's Hunter again. Also, like I was saying, we'll, like, we'll probably do Frozen Altars. That level's actually really short. Like, that's the thing. It's a pretty short level. There's two mini games in there. One that has two eggs and one that has one. But they're not bad. Most of the level is based off of, like, exploration and, like, a cool new ability that you only use in that level. Actually, you get technically two abilities. So I think you guys will thoroughly enjoy that level. I really feel like, unlike um, Spyro 2, they made the uh, speedways a lot more linear in this. So a lot easier for people to complete. And there's our gems. Yippee! 
Yippee! This time we got Chris. Chris Rock. Chris. Chris Hemsworth. Chris Evans. Chris everything. And we gotta do this again because we gotta go to Hunter that we had seen chilling over here. Like, literally right here. Look out, Spyro. There's a really big sheep UFO around here, and it's trying to get me. I snatched up a dragon egg it was trying to abduct, and now it wants revenge. You wait here, I'll lure the UFO down the river of honey. Okay, here I go. Normally you think that's weird, but Spyro's dealt with these exact flying sheep before, so it's really not that weird. Also, I don't know why, when they made Enter the Dragonfly, they didn't just do the sheep saucers again, instead of just making random UFO enemies. Like, they could have just did the sheep saucer, and it would have made perfect sense in the Spyro universe, because it's canon, but... Nope, and then they made the thieves the good guys, and you needed to help the thieves in that game, so... I don't know. Sometimes these games make no sense, like... Apparently, though, there are rumors that they are making a fourth Spyro game. And I'm hoping it takes Spyro's, like, power-ups a little more seriously. Like, the fact that maybe you can teach him to finally fly and have just bigger, longer levels. Like, even if you have, like, half the normal amount of levels, like, in a Spyro game, but allow them to be bigger, you know, have way more. And that was easy. I don't remember it being that short, but ah, sweet. Did you see that? Nobody outraces a cheetah. And look! I didn't even drop the egg! Nice, and it's Nori. Don't know any Noris, but sweet. That's that level complete. I don't want to. And then he gets sad. He says he's having fun, but he never does anything, so I don't know what he's having fun doing. But anyways, there we go. There's all our gems. Alright, 5,000 again. Woohoo! Wait, again? Yeah, again. Oh wait, are we actually ahead? No, we were at 4,000. Now we're at 5,000, which is good. Now we can go do Frozen Altars, which is over this way. Technically, Frozen Altars is level 1, but then we only have two levels left to do after that. Anyways, let's go here. This level is actually pretty darn cool. No pun intended. I always like the snow levels in Spyro, because I always feel like they do them really nice. Welcome to Frozen Altars, Spyro. On behalf of the Ice Fairies, I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. Yeah, you got Ice Breath, but what's funny is they just colored Zoe blue. Like, they didn't even create a unique model for the fairies like they did in the original. They just colored her blue. Which I find kind of ridiculous. Oh, that guy got me. Wait, how come his hitbox slowed me down but not the other guy? Kiwi birds. Also, the ice breath cannot be used to freeze vases or anything like that, so I found that kind of weird when first playing this. Also, fun fact is you can freeze these guys, so keep that in mind. Now, these towers are also unique power where you have to melt the snow. In the original game, they were just ice blocks, and they didn't break like that, they just completely melted. Don't know why they always change things like that to actually be worse than the original, despite this game being gr more graphically superior. But that's just toys for Bob, I guess. They're doing that new Crash Bandicoot game as well. That uh, Crash, what is it even called? Crash something or other. Oh, the cat's howling again. I was like, what's that sound in the background? I thought it was the level, but no, it's. One of our cats howling. He hates when I have my door closed. Always has. That's just a cat thing though, I guess. See, technically to get up here, they don't tell you this, but you're supposed to freeze them. One of them actually hints you to, you know, freeze things to get up places, but there's only those guys to freeze other than enemies, and the enemies are never in the right position, so... Lo and behold, you gotta kill those, or kill those guys, freeze those guys. That's a lot of gems in there, holy Toledo. And over here, we looks like we get our first egg of six. Like I said, three of them are in challenges, so that's a thing. And the background to this level kind of sucks, though. Cecil from Night at the Museum, you know, the villain of the first one. I feel really sorry for you guys having, like, these really old-school names that nobody even cares about anymore. Now, you can't actually get past those giant snowmen, so to get past them, you're going to have to actually go in here, and then you're going to have to melt them. 
by chasing him around with this giant solar laser beam and popping him like a pimple. Now, I don't think we can get the, the other gems around here with... Oh, going in here first. Let's see if I can avoid this enemy for the time being. Thank you. Oh yeah, it's this guy that would normally tell you how to get up there. Oh, I thought that was another one. See, because then you freeze him, and then I'll talk to him afterward, because I'm pretty sure he actually references the fact that he was cold. Right? It would be easy to get up to that trip. No, he's supposed to go brrr after, but for whatever reason they didn't add that line. Don't know why they didn't add stuff like that, but whatever. You do you, I guess, game. Goodbye, Mr. Mammoth. It's kind of like a caveman-style level, but without the cavemen in it, for whatever reason. It's penguins this time. Weird that they chose, like, a prehistoric, like, kind of theme, but then chose to do it this way. I I'm confused. Anyways, let's go do this. Oh, Spyro, I have just received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with a yeti. With a yeti? That dumb yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back or you'd kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen. I knew you'd do it. Go and show him not to mess with us. Remember to block his high punches and hit him low when he tries to block. Um, yeah. Let's do this, if I can remember how to do this. Now, this isn't actually the part that you can get the skill point on. Ooh. Come on, man. Punch him in the gut. All the time you can do some pretty cool combo attacks like that. And there we go, we got him. showed him hey wait a minute this isn't my ball yep it's an egg named ally or ally i'm assuming it's ally you should go back and kick his butt again and you just got to do it this time now it's a three round match and we're supposed to beat him in two so let's hope we can do that he's also more aggressive now Also, sometimes it does the wrong attack. Like, I'll go for the gut punch, but then it goes for the upper punch, and it's just like... See what I mean? Like... Actually beat him in one round, Jesus. Hey, this isn't my ball. It's just another stupid egg. I have never had that happen before Rico, but I never had it happen where we actually beat it in one round before. That's a new personal record. Nice. And we unlocked the art gallery. So since this is gonna be a shorter uh episode, um Let's go to the art gallery. So we have the cover where artwork. They rechanged it. Oh no, spoiler. There's a character we haven't unlocked yet. And Sheila and Agent 9. So yeah, Agent 9's the last one that you unlock. Bentley and Sergeant James Bird. Skate Gear Hunter and Bianca. Those look creepy. TNT Rat, Toucan, Flying Gecko, and Grater. G Grater? Gator? So those are Flying Geckos. Gunfighter and TNT Dino, we haven't seen them yet. Giant Chicken, Cow Sign, Pig Pilot, and Crazy Ed, we've seen all them before. Princess Amy, Prince Azrael, Cat Wizard, and Cat Witch, we haven't seen them yet. Egyptian Dog, Roman Lions, Rapunzel, Hummingbird, and Bamboo Terrace Panda, we've seen all but one. Frozen Altar Snowman, Flying Beaver, Crystal Bear, Spooky Swamp Mosquito, Haunted Torch, Jackal, and Giant Scorpion. We haven't seen most of those, actually. Baby Dragons. They'll still have more personality than they actually do in the game, so... Yay, nice. 
Yeah, you do that all for the gallery, then the gallery part too. We haven't had any of the bosses, so I'm assuming the bosses will be in the second part. But I've never had that where it beat in first round. Sorry if I got quiet there, but I was like focusing like crazy to do that. Because I remember when I first tried it multiple times, especially when recording, I couldn't even do it in three. Or in two, let alone one. Of course you play. Also, fun fact, these enemies down here don't actually drop any gems. They literally do not drop any gems, nor do they even respawn. And that's like that in the original, too. Not entirely sure why they do it that way, but they do. Oh, look, Moneybags is back. Yay, Moneybags, our favorite character. Thanks for helping out, Spyro. Why don't you take this? The Rhinox were trying to fry it with a laser, but you stopped him just in time. No, I didn't. There was no Rhinox here. Jaina. Jana? Jaina? Jana? Not entirely sure. One of those two. And it's one of those levels where it kind of connects back to the beginning. Despite it really not actually changing much. Now, there's no gems in the uh, money bag section, so there's no real big point of going in there right away. Because it's at the end of the level anyway, so we can just go back there, complete the challenge, and then just leave the level. So for the time being, we're going to go and collect everything else. Plus, at least it would be nice to see all of our gems collected before money bags rips them all away again, because lo and behold, he has to take all your gosh darn money in this game. Do, do, do. Do. Oh, Jasper from Jasper, Alberta. Now, I believe we're only missing one egg. Catch the ice cats. That's actually not even remotely how that, or remotely what that challenge is, by the way. I don't know why it's catch the ice cats, but it is. And I wonder if I can make it here. Poop. Can I actually make it up there from over here? I actually don't remember if you can or not. I'm pretty sure you can, right? By freezing this dopey high as a kite penguin. In the original two, you could walk up these, but now you can't. Weird that you can't. That made things a lot easier when you could walk on those, but you know, remakes, man, remakes. All right. A whole two gems, and those were literally the last of the gems. Nice. So now we just have literally one egg left, and it's with money bags. Say, Spyro, you're a sports fan, aren't you? As you probably know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great sport of cat hockey. Today's match is sold out, of course, but I just happen to have a spare ticket that I'll sell you for, say, a teensy weensy markup. 800 gems for a ticket? Head on in, Spyro. It should be a thrilling match. In fact, <laughs> I've even placed a little wager on the Rhinoc team. Let's just hope the local team doesn't have any last-minute accidents. Mmm. Sounds suspicious, me bags. This part of level is actually really cool, by the way. I challenged a Rhinoc to a traditional game of cat hockey. But I think I sprained my flipper while training. Would you mind taking my place? Oh, sure, why not? Great. Freeze the cats and push them into my goal to score. Yeah, it's funny because it's your own goal, not... Not, not their goal, so you want to push it into this one behind you. And you just kind of like keep pushing them in. You can also freeze the enemy Rhinoc. His hockey stick also freezes enemies, which is really weird, but... No. I think you can also technically get multiple in if you're lucky at, like, once. Like, look, we're gonna get one there, and then we're gonna get another one right here. There we go. He's also not the greatest hockey player. Oh, Moneybags is mad that uh, we're gonna cost him the game. I love how it's a scratching post at the end. I think it's five points, which makes this easier than the Hockey Challenge in Colossus, which I, I still can't believe I never got that skill point in this. I've never messed it up that bad before. And there we go. That's the level done. Well done. I think you deserve to keep the Champion's Cup. 
Thank you, it's Ba. Now, fun fact, in the original this was supposed to be a sheep, and then it undoes its outfit and then turns into a dragon. But for whatever reason, they didn't do that. They ruined this level big time. So, anyways, we've made no gems off of this level because of money bags, so that's fun. Yep, let's go back. And of course it's gonna take longer to load because there's no gem animation this time and Oh And that's exactly why we needed to do the levels I did in that order. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and in the next episode, we'll be taking on Charmed Ridge and actually probably Fireworks Factory since uh, we only do a part of that level. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.